you know how much has happened in the last four years, like as far as like people getting caught on camera, like yeah. N word this. Karen. You're not supposed to be here. Yeah, right. They're at the park barbecuing, like, you know, like yeah. man. I usually ain't at a loss of words, but I, I'm at a loss of words, though, because I understand exactly what he's saying, though. There is a sort of, like, vindication feeling of knowing that there is a group of people in our country that can breathe now. Yeah. I don't know how that feels, but I know as a black man, I know how that feels, though. Yeah. I finally can breathe now. More it's a good day now to be a racist. <laughs> it was every day now to be a good day now to be a racist. I don't know. But, but you can only ask for so much. Right. You can only ask for so much, man. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. Well, you ain't get <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Chalfant. And I'm Trail. And we are... Brothers from another color. Woo! Before we begin, one thing we want to do is, uh, thank everybody. Thanks for uh, subscribing, following us, engaging with us, uh, dropping knowledge on us about BTS, watching our old videos. Yeah. Um, you want to add anything? Yeah, I was going to say because it's, we're the ones on video, but it's not about us. Not right? at all. I not mean, all. We're, we're not doing anything if nobody's watching. So we're watching, you're watching, we're listening. It sounds like you're listening. And I think as long as we're, we stay true to ourselves, but we're, Responding to which we aim to do recommendations you're giving and comments in the yeah we try to respond to all the comments too but it's it's getting it's getting yeah. heavy out there <laughs> it is getting heavy, heavy man yeah. that's why we set up uh, we learned about the community part just did maybe two days ago three days yeah. ago so if you haven't checked out the community part of our channel go ahead and look there we posted some stuff stay engaged with us mm -hmm. election night is over election week thank God yeah. the longest election ever I know in our lifetime I don't know how it was in the well, in 2000, right? Yeah. Evidently, oh, we're, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we were babies, I don't know, <laughs> right? Millennials. <laughs> what in the I think, I think uh, every network except one has declared Biden, Biden as the, the president. Yeah. Yeah. And what network would that be? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So there's a. Uh, yeah, we know which <laughs> which one it is. Uh, we figured we react to this video that's been going around. Uh, Van Jones is. What do you think his job is at Santa? Reporter. I'm sure he has an official title. He might be like a journalist reporter, something like that, yeah. in that mode. Yeah, they call it something like that. I don't know. Psh, brain okay. fart. But um, it, this is going to be his response to either, uh, well, it's his response to Biden getting elected, but I have a feeling that it's more than that. It's going to be his response to. He always got good words, though. The president. Very leaving. good with his words. Right. It's more, I think it's more about somebody exiting, so. Somebody. Let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's easier to be a parent this morning. It's easier to be a dad. It's easier. To, it's easier to tell your kids character matters. It matters. Telling the truth matters. Being a good person matters. <laughs> and it's easier for a whole lot of people. If you're Muslim. In this country, you, you, you don't have to worry if the president doesn't want you here. If you're an immigrant, you don't have to worry if the president's going to be happier to have babies snatched away or send, send dreamers back for no reason. This is vindication for a lot of people who have really suffered. You know, the, the, I can't breathe. You know, that wasn't just George Floyd. That was a lot of people that felt that they couldn't breathe. Every day you're waking up and you're getting these tweets and you just don't know, and you're going to the store, and, and people who have been afraid to show their racism are getting nastier and nastier to you, and you're worried about your kids, and you're worried about your sister. And, and can she just go to Walmart and, and get back into the, her car without somebody saying something to her? And, 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 and you spent so much of your life energy just trying to hold it together. And this is a big deal for us just to be able to get some peace and, 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 and have a chance for, for, for a reset. And, and the character of the country matters. And, 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 and being a good man matters. I, you know, I just want my sons to, to look at this. 
look at this. You know, it's easy to, to, to do it the cheap way and, 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 and get away with stuff, but it comes back around. It comes back around, and it's a good day for this country. I, I'm sorry for the people who lost. I, for them, it's not a good day, but for a whole lot of people, it's a good day. That's big. Yeah, I agree. I agree with everything he said, man. It is big. And like we had predicted before the video, this was more about who was leaving versus who was coming, who in. Was coming in. Yeah. And he didn't mention any names. Not at all. But yeah. you could just, you know, the, the, the tide is just, it's shifted though. You can, you can feel it though. Mm -hmm. And like you said, you could breathe. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if he thought about it, <clears throat> what he was going to say here beforehand, but there's just so many big themes and titles that came out of that. Like he brought up, I can't breathe. I think of Eric Gardner first, yeah, right? Because course. he was the one. But he brought it much bigger than that. Cool, sir. Let's like, as, it. like, we can't even walk around in society without feeling so... Because now people who were closet racists are, or were, are, now they just out in the open. Yeah. Like, saying whatever they want to say, doing what they want to do, yeah. looking at you funny. You know how much has happened in the last four years? Like, as far as, like, people getting caught on camera, like, yeah. N-word this... Karen. You're not supposed to be here. Yeah, right. They're at the park barbecuing. Like, you know, like, man. I, I usually ain't at a loss of words, but I, I'm at a loss of words, though, because I understand exactly what he's saying, though. Like, I always think about, like, when I leave out, being a father, a black father, I always think about when I leave out, I got to get back home to my kids, though. I always think about that. Like, when I, get, when I go to work and I get up at 3 in the morning, I'm still, like, I got to get home to my kids. Like, I don't like cars running up on the side of me on the freeway, like, slowing down, none of that stuff, though. Like, all of it freaked me out, though, because I got to get home to my kids and my wife. Are those conversations y'all have a lot? I haven't. Me and Kyra do, yeah, but not with, of course, I haven't said it to my kids, though, but I always tell them I'll be back home. Like, I'm coming back home. No worry. I don't worry. I'll be here, though. But I, I'm pretty sure Kyra feels the same, but she wouldn't tell me, like, I'm scared for you. I don't want her to tell me that because I don't, I don't want to put that pressure on me, more pressure on me. Like, I... It's already it's enough pressure though. But at the same time, I don't want to live my life in fear though. I still want to be able to go out here and do whatever it is I want to do in life though. Yeah, and it's, I think it's a different feeling for you than me, but there is a sort of like vindication feeling of knowing that there is a group of people in our country that can breathe now. Yeah. And that, like, Few, a relax few, a few groups and that there is a another group who feel less vindicated and are going to feel less supported as they should in the things that they believe and do or whatever it might be because of the person for the last four years who's the you know the face of our country who's been <laughs> i don't even know what, the, what kind of face to call them but it ain't been a good face i don't want to say that it ain't been a good face and he was just talking about the message of, you know, character matters. That's and the he thing. And he, he, he almost, I think something that I took from it was, if you, if you live your life without character, so he was elected, right? And you get four years no matter what. Yeah. If you demonstrate a lack of character throughout that, the effects of that are you lose the next election. And that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's at least at this point on... A week or less than a week after the election, um, you know, Biden's been declared the winner. I don't know what's going to happen with all those uh, recounts or litigation things that he happened that is going to go through. But if something like that does go through, I, like if they recount and turn something over, I mean, I, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be it's going to be crazy. Absolutely brutal. wild. I don't even want to think about that. Cause uh, this video does make, it makes me emotional though. It really does though. I can understand exactly where you're coming from. Being a black man like himself, man, just yeah. speaking about the immigrants being torn away from their parents or the kids being torn away from their parents. And Muslims being kicked out the country. And I don't know how that feels, but I know as a black man, I know how that feels though. Yeah. I finally can breathe now. I feel like uh, it's crazy that we even gotta have these kind of conversations though. I know. But they're necessary. Yeah, I mean, I guess my biggest connection is <clears throat> more so as a dad, you know. I used to kept talking about talking to his sons about character and just 
I could feel it at the beginning of the video. I was like, I was wondering if that was going to continue throughout. Because I was like, man, I'm not going to be able to I, hold yeah. it up. If it was, was, was only two minutes, out. I probably wouldn't have made it. Yeah, I probably would have made it if right. it was only two minutes, though. That's, that's from the heart, though. It that is. is from the heart. Nobody, I, I've never seen anybody give like a written speech. Me personally, I, yeah. I've never seen anybody give a written speech and it was like, like that before. Like, yeah. And I don't know that it was written. Yeah. I mean, cause these are, yeah. when, when you're on these sets, you're not, you're not reading from a teleprompter, no. you know, you're, and I, I think the beautiful thing about this two minutes was no names were mentioned. It was all like theme and topic based, yeah. but it was like wrapped up so nicely that it just... You, you knew where it was going and where it was headed. Yeah. <laughs> where the weight was being shifted to. I've been a fan of Van Jones for like the last, I think three years, man. Yeah. I've been watching for like the last three years. Everything I've seen about him so far, I like. Yeah. I've admired though. If Biden lost and Trump was reelected, um, you know, Democrats would accept it and it would, you know, we accept the election and, you know, the winner's the winner and that's it. And that the Republicans are the ones who are, uh, you know, upset and throwing a hissy fit and all that. But I, I'm only guessing right now, but I, I feel like you would agree with what I'm saying. But if Trump was reelected, I feel like the news would be a lot different right now in terms of like what's going on in the cities. It would be. It'd be a lot different though. I mean, stuff. I mean, stuff would be. It'd be a lot of unrest. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. For, and so for for him to say it like we would accept it, you know, you guys need to mature and man up or whatever it is, and it's like oh, I don't really think that's true. I think he just took it from a perspective that like the people that you see that I I can't speak for nobody. The people that I've seen in these videos that have been floating around are like if Trump is not back in office, then there's going to be a civil war. I've seen so many of those kind of videos, though, and they've been Republican people. Yeah, well, Trump. I've seen that too, but I don't. I mean, I'm, that's, I'm just yeah. guessing that's what he, that's the angle he's speaking from, though. Like, yeah. I still think it would be some stuff in these cities because people don't want Trump back in office. So yeah. I still think it would be like, ah, uh, we got this motherfucker back in office. Yeah, right? well, burn some shit down. Right. Yeah, I, I think that's what it would be. I, yeah. I think in terms of like who is out protesting. I mean, Democrats are. I mean. The, the people that are being impacted most by what Trump is doing are the ones who are out, yeah. you know, for better or for worse, right? You know, it turns into all these other things that, you know, whether we support or not is another topic, but... You know, I've seen two different kind of protests, though. I've seen a Democratic protest where uh, they go down, they always talk about, it's like a Martin Luther King march. It's, it's, yeah. it's peaceful, they don't have any weapons, and then yeah. whoever comes in and breaks it up. Then I see like the other side of the protest where these people are armed, they got their flag mask on, they hats and shit. So it's like two totally different kinds of riots though. I, I mean riots, I say yeah. that for lack of a better word. Yeah, well, people are storming the Capitol yeah, so they like, can get their haircuts and their yeah. riots. <laughs> <laughs> well then you wonder, right? I mean you'll have one new one new one news, you know, media outlet who will describe these riots and looting and all of those things as like that's what a black lives matter protest looks yeah. like when the reality like if you look at if you physically look at a lot of these protests a lot of the people most of the people that are out are white and the ones who are throwing the first bricks oh and lighting the first yeah. fires are white and i i mean people say antifa and all these other groups but you wonder like somebody is there starting it and I read somewhere, especially in, was it Wisconsin, where the kid shot and killed those three people? Uh, Kyle Riddle? Yeah. That was his name. Kyle, yeah, it has a long last name. Kyle. Matt Waterhouse? So, I don't know. I say Riddle. It must be somebody else's name I know. I know it's Kyle. Yeah, but it's Kyle. <laughs> Rittenhouse? I think it's Kyle Rittenhouse. That might be it. I say I Riddle. It <laughs> um, I forgot. Why, why did I bring that up? Uh, it's how they be out there. How they, you just talking about how they started. Uh, oh, what I, what I meant was they'll arrest people for protesting. And then they'll say in the last 48 hours, a hundred people, a hundred percent of the people that we arrested were not from our city. So right. it's like it's like people are coming in from these and places, using though. that as a a means to destroy the a, city, the tool to the face. Yeah. And you can already—I I haven't seen a lot of the videos showing this, but I imagine 
you know, the old heads, you know, from those areas are just so upset. You know, no, that these people are not from here, but they come to destroy our city or yeah. our township or whatever. Yeah. And even if you're from that city, you know, that's not what they want. You know, there's other ways. But, I don't know. To make change, you got to do what you got to do. You got to start somewhere, though. You got to start somewhere, though. Yeah. Where it's a good day not to be a racist. <laughs> Every day now would be a day that would be a race. I don't know. Right? But you can only ask for so much. Right. You can only ask for so much, man. I don't see what's... We look that different, man. We that different. Yeah. Like, I got a little more sun in you, so you like... F him. You know? Like, I, can get, I can get tan, though. Unlike my, uh... <laughs> everybody else in my house. Yeah. <laughs> I can throw some color down there. I don't know. Don't get me wrong. What do you, what do you think is gonna be different? I honestly don't know, man. I mean, cause you know, like you can't tell a closet racist to go back in the closet. It's, it's like, yeah, <laughs> it's over. Like we're here. So, I mean, one good thing for young black women to see Kamala in the office, and now they can see that and be like, I know. they can dream even bigger, though. Yeah, I'm. I'm interested in seeing, you know, how. That's how it was for uh, for Obama for people. I was 19 when he ran for office, so of course, I was like, oh my God, it's a black man mm -hmm. running for president. So <clears throat> when people say he hasn't done anything, like he did something, he probably I don't know what his numbers look like in the White House anymore, but I know when I seen it, I was like, damn, you know, I really could be in city council. Or I could be in yeah. Congress or something like that. I never thought that before in my life, though. Like, I never wanted to get into politics. I'm still not big on politics, but I feel like I can get, get a seat in one of these cities and be like, mm -hmm. all right, somebody who looks like me can get in here and yeah. fight for the other person that looks like me. Do you um, think you, uh, you got as much swag as Obama did? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. See, he, his, his, his is more experienced, though, because he yeah. got the ageless swag, but I'm getting it. Yeah, he does. That is like a swag you don't get until you're 50. Yeah, for real. Cause he had it when he when he go in, forty. Well, you saw the picture. I'm maybe showing yeah. him right here. <laughs> when he, when he in. came in 08 and he left in looking stressed 16. out. Sixteen. <laughs> Way different. Yeah, he got it though. I mean, that's how. That's if you took pictures of my wife and I when we first got married, and then five years later now. That's how it was when I was looking at the wedding pics. Yeah. So you had a buzz cut. <laughs> no, I did. I <laughs> I'm excited to. Just to see how, I mean, I, the goal was to get somebody out of office, right? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily, we need these two to become, you know, the people that are in office. But I'm, I'm excited to see how much they've changed. Because I, I think we've, you and I, I think especially have seen so many videos that would give us pause about the two that are coming in. But, yeah. But That's why it was you know, a it's hard election. I know it was a hard election for black people because, of course, they were digging on stuff uh, from, from that Joe had maybe years years back. And some of it I read was false, some of it was true. And then just, you already got a candidate in there that's like, black people are on edge about like, uh, yeah, you know? So it's like, I hate I hate when I hear the lesser of two evils. I just hate when I hear that though, because I'd be like, it's like comparing sins. And I think a sin is a sin, like no sin is greater than another sin. Yeah. Like rape is just like murder. Right. But. To hear somebody say like we gotta vote for the list of two evils so when we get them in there and they're still just as evil but one tier less evil yeah. than this person they're like well yeah they say what it, are we gonna expect it's levels to it yeah it's a, you know I, yeah. if that's how we look <laughs> at it you know just somebody i had a conversation with somebody and they were like if I, if you look at it like this like say we're comparing trump and biden and they were like okay they say trump is a racist they say they say biden is a racist okay let's cancel that and then what's the next tier? Yeah. Like. They both have allegations of. Yeah. Sexual so then we stuff. cut that out. That evil again. Right, and then right, it's right, like, right. where do we cut it off at? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think we're going to ever find a candidate that's like, like I said before, like, he has all my views. So I'm going to vote for him. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. See? Well, you ain't get Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a new one. Beep. I'm going to add a beat to it. <laughs> Sound like an intro to me. <laughs> to me. Hey. If you enjoy watching our videos and you have any recommendations for other things we should react to, whether it's 
comedy to react to with our own comedy. Because we're um, funny. Yeah. Current events. Just different things. Like, we get DMs on Instagram for that. Have you seen this? You should react to this. And it's things we haven't seen. Because sometimes different groups of people are, diff are down different rabbit holes. You know what I mean? And we're certainly going down a rabbit hole. Yeah, we're going down a rabbit hole. <laughs> Not in this video, but somewhere else. It's a good rabbit hole, though. This video was another chance for you guys to get to know a little bit more about us and see where our views are and where our heads are. Yeah. So. What else, what else do you got to say, Tom? If you do, you do. Enjoy our video and us. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Like. Comment. Share. Engage. Uh, and turn on your notifications. So you get notified when we drop more videos. There you go. And go into that community section and check out what we're saying. Yeah. Because we've got a lot more stuff coming for you guys. We just In found out about the community tab. Engage. We'll be back. Oh, oh, oh.